At reInvent last year, we announced a new device called Snowball, which is a petabyte-scale data transportation service using a new custom-designed device. And I just happen to have one here. It's down here behind the podium. Here it is. This is a Snowball. Uh, I can bring it up on the screen here. So you can see it's got a ruggedized, delightful shade of gray. Uh, it's rainproof and dustproof. Uh, it's secure, and I'll tell you a little bit about how we manage the encryption. Uh, it's got everything you need inside this box, which has been tested to about 8.5 Gs, to be able to connect to your data center and load data in. So at this end, if I flip up the, col the uh, flap here, you can see that we have an e-ink display. So we have a Kindle in there, basically, which uh, automatically is um, uh, uh, configured to ship to your address. And then as soon as you start loading data onto it, it automatically swaps so that it gets shipped back to the Amazon uh, headquarters uh, for, for Snowball. And this is really important because it's hidden behind this flap because sometimes labels come off. But inside here, we have an e-ink display, which is low power, and always provides uh, barcodes to let us know where it's going. And you can see we really did ship this one uh, using the service today. Uh, it's got the address of uh, the AWS booth at the Chicago Summit. And on the back side here, we have all the cables that you need to be able to connect up. Up here, we have power, and we have networking. You just plug them in, load in your data, and away you go. So I'll just pop this back down here for now. If you want to take a closer look, we have one at the AWS booth. Uh, and the way that this works is you just make the request for a Snowball device from the console, and you load your data in. Uh, we ship you the Snowball, you plug it in, you load your data in, and the keys are managed off the device. So the data is encrypted on the device, but the keys themselves are stored inside the key management service. And this provides end-to-end -end custody of the data. We get it into, we, get, we receive the device, and then load the data set into AWS. So this is perfect for large customer data sets which you want to move as quickly as possible. And you don't just have to use one of these. If you have 10 snowballs connected to your networking DMZ, that's the equivalent of a throughput of about 100 gig network connection. So this is a very effective way of moving large amounts of data into AWS. And we've seen tremendous momentum, if you'll pardon the pun, for snowball since we announced it. So we have WWE who have moved a few terabytes for disaster recovery purposes. All the way at the other end of the spectrum, we have Philips, who are moving petabytes of their data as part of their offering to hospitals to take patient data and store it in a secure environment. In fact, we've shipped enough snowballs to travel around the world 30 different times, and we've loaded over half a trillion objects using Snowball since October. It's a great service. So today, we're growing the Snowball. Uh, we're announcing a new 80 terabyte Snowball device that's 60% larger than it's available today. We're increasing the global uh, uh, awareness and the global delivery of the devices using US West in California, Dublin, and Sydney, available today. We're also adding support for GovCloud to load your data into GovCloud. And we're committing to having Snowball available in all AWS regions by the end of 2016.